beyond words of such beauty. And talking of beauty, how are you doing? That's a bit corny then. Happy Sunday shaving. How are you doing? Welcome to the weekend shave. Vintage again today. And two products uh, on loan to me yet again by my good friend Alistair. Um, that's today's razor. Look at the size of that. <laughs> Very old. Um, now, it's a travel razor and I'm going to put it together in front of you so you can have an idea. Very light. Um, Alistair thinks it's a murker from what's... Uh, nothing stated on the razor or the, the little leather pouch, you see, so it's an open comb murker travel razor by the looks of it. Um, very old. Uh, Alistair seems to think it was his grandfather's. And there is the three... One, two, three. It's a four-piece razor, actually. If I can show you. There's two pieces there. And there's two there. And what happens is, this small piece fits in there. And then they go into the little leather pouch like that. So, without further ado, we'll put it together. And I'll show you. So, so thanks, Alistair. And I, I'll get this back to you next week with the um, the aftershave as well. And there you go, that's the put together Merca open comb travel razor of many years of age. Hollow, quite light, head heavy, uh, aggressive, I don't know. But anyway, just gonna take this bottom bit off to put the blade on. What blade are you using, Paul? Well, I'll tell you now, Paul. Oh, thanks. Does help, doesn't it? As I've never used the razor before, a brand new Wilkinson sword blade. And we'll place that. This is my sort of uh, safety blade, if you like, pardon the pun. Um, my go-to blade when I'm using a new razor of any sort. I know it's a good blade for me. Uh, overhang, very, very slightly. Very, very slight, you can see. Um, aggressive? I don't know until I start using it. Doesn't look that aggressive, but looks can be deceiving. Um, right, vetiver. I wanted a vetiver soap, so I'm going to use a good one. And this is a First Canadian Grand Valley Vetiver Shaving Soap. And not bloomed it, it's as it is. It's it's between hard and soft. <laughs> that narrows it down to a sort of a croppy. It's quite firm, but um, good soap. And a new brush, an in inexpensive brush. As you know, I've got the. Is it there? Yes, it is. I've got one of these, which is a blue, and I've always. This is a bore brush. Good. Good brush for hard knots, and I'd use that in there. But I've just purchased, and I've got something else on the way as well in regards to the brushes. But this is a, a synthetic, similar brush as a Omega synthetic. Look at that, much much softer. That. So we're going to try. It seems to be a good backbone on it. So we're going to try and uh, see how it lathers up. So without further ado, let's get going. All right. Okay, all from scratch this, no sort of preparations before, just going to wet this synthetic brush. Um, in case you're wondering, everything's been cleaned, uh, I give this a washing, antibacterial uh, soap, because even if it's new, just to, get, just to give it a wash and then rinse it out thoroughly. Um, and the razor's been cleaned as well, so hygiene of most importance. So that's wet but not dripping, and we'll go straight to the puck. Now it is very soft brush, but it shouldn't have a problem. And it doesn't have a problem, as you can see. Look at that. Lovely scent, vetiver. Lovely. 
Hope you're having a good weekend. Have you had a good week? I hope you're in good health and good spirits. And as always, having good shaves, hopefully. Right, I'm just going to... That's gathered enough. Just going to very quickly under the tap. And if you're from um, this area where the soap's made, a good artisan. And I'll put a link to a link to um, First Canadian in the description. But a lot of you will know know them anyway. So there we go. Yeah, so uh, you've had a good week, hopefully. Another weekend's here. Oh, time goes quick. Very, very quick. Just rinse the razor. So here we go, a Merker, as far as we know, uh, made in Germany anyway, we know that much. Merker Open Comb Travel Razor. Th four piece. Um, so here we go. Right, so you can feel the blade, but it's not an aggressive feel. So, for my personal taste, it's not an aggressive razor, even though it looks. Uh, if you, people tend to think open comb, bang, you know, aggressive, can be the case, but not always. It can be uh, a non-aggressive. The same as the. If you look um, at the Mule R forty one, if you look at it, it doesn't look that aggressive. You don't think, wow, it's a big gap, or... Do you shave with it? <laughs> you know, never judge a book by its cover. Nice short stroke. Yeah, it's not non-aggressive. Um... Where the open comb comes in for me, handy, is it, especially in a razor that's not aggressive, it helps the flow of shaving soap as you shave to pass through and sort of not clog the blade. It helps. I hope you can tell I'm doing this very lightly. Very, very comfortable. Uh, uh, good choice for the blade because uh, always seems to work for me. As you can see, it's not having any issues. And this soap I've used before. And I know it's a good soap, lovely scent, a vetiver, and um, yeah, it's nice, but it's not in your face, bang, it's just nice. And we'll have another bit under the tap. Look at that. Didn't take a lot. And that's a good thing with shaving. You can take as long as you want to create a lather. Or in this case, you can take as little as your time as you want. Look at that. Lovely scent, quick to lather, not bloomed. New synthetic brush yet again. Um, does the trick, you can't argue with it, lovely. Vintage razor, not aggressive, a lot of history, could tell a story, 
and it'd be interesting to know where this razor as it's a travel razor actually traveled to it must have gone to many a foreign country i bet um you know history in the history in your hands there what's nice for alistair it's family owned you know so uh, that's lovely now the slickness to this soap is superb no need to even try it i can tell the growth so if you've got any nice plans today are you just relaxing nice shave family time um, Mrs H is running another marathon today in um, in aid of uh, uh, cancer I think it is the uh, she's doing it with her sister um, but it's a very short nothing like the Chester one I think it's only three or four mile so she won't be out long but uh, fair play to her and her sister and all the others that do it I'm not going to this because She's going with her sister, obviously, and uh, I'm cooking Sunday dinner, which takes me nicely into uh, what are we having. So I'll tell you that when we come to the third and final pass, which is against the growth. So against the growth, and I'm just gathering a bit more, only a bit. You see, it's a very soft brush, but it has no issues gathering any soap whatsoever under the tap a little bit wet heads are going to be screaming out loving this watch this I must remember to put a link to this video in Paul's wet head so Facebook. Forget. Come on, Paul. Well, it is weekend. Please forgive me, would you? Oh, thank you very much, sir. Yes. Right. Madness. Tidy up. Look at that. Right? Should open the barbers, should I? Okay, against the growth and what we have for Sunday. Okay, we're having roast chicken breasts today. The most succulent part. Um, there you go. I got uh, the thing is I got the whole family in these videos now. I'm doing the shaves, Mrs. H is doing the flowers, and even the cats in the background shouting hello. <laughs> Not many wet shavers doing that, is there? Bringing the whole family in. Mm. This is lovely. Oh yeah, roast chicken breast in um olive oil chicken stock cube thank you and i'll mix it in a bit of black pepper coat the chicken breasts <laughs> roast it in the oven slowly in the little halogen oven i got roast potatoes uh, as well today and boiled potatoes which will be Jersey Royal Jersey or Jersey Royals 
new potatoes as I had last week, beautiful. Um, then there'll be carrots, uh, peas and lashings of course of gravy and lashings of cider. Good. She's heard me talk. I'm leaving it in, I'm not cutting it out. <laughs> All right. Because I'm changing it up now. Um, she does ex impressions of the cat impression. Right. When we first heard Alice meowing like that, we thought, what the hell is that? Because we've, we've just heard the odd meow, meow. But she does like a, like a, you know, she's like the Pavarotti of cats. And uh, such a unique, amazing animal. And she's only small, but uh, she can pack a good pair of lungs on her. Be interesting actually when I play this back in the editor. Uh, and I apologise to anybody who's not a cat lover or anything like that. But uh, that's part of this house and part of my life. And part of this shave. <laughs> That's a very smooth um I tell you what, there's not many pickups today. <whistles> That's good. Okay. Pickup time. Very pleased with this brush. Mm, don't speak too soon. No, it's new. It does that. And we'll go back under the tap. Um synthetic Omega, inexpensive. But look at that, it does the job. You can't argue with that, can you? Lovely scent, nice. Just as it's just there, better. But nice clean smell. A good thing I find personally with a short handle and long. Luckily, I can work with both, and I enjoy both. Um, it's very manoeuvrable. Very manoeuvrable. Listen to that. Right, we'll just I have overshaved the neck area actually. Damn it. How was that? Beautiful. Right, rinse off. is lovely. Okay, um, I'm going to, damn I forgot, I'm going to use the, I was going to use the uh, Thayer's but uh, I changed my mind, I'll use the, I'll use an Allen block and I should have left my face wet, man I can do that and there should be maybe some feedback on the neck, there's nothing there Just a tingle there. Nothing there. And an actual fact. 
Just rinse off. Lovely again. <laughs> Actually, I could hear that um, making a noise then on the. Oh, just bear with me one minute. This is where I'm like. Let me just. Don't normally do this. I could hear the Allen block catching on whiskers. They should be silent. Ah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Lovely. Has to be right. <laughs> there we go. Yes. I'm terrible to use this little towel here. Okay, so that's that. And we're going to use now another vintage item which uh, again came from Alistair. And this is, I don't know if you can read this on here. Where are we? There. Just on that lid. Can you see that? Can you see what it says? If you can't, I'll try and. Guer Lane. Is it? G U E R L A I N. Guerlain, Paris, France. It's a vetiver, it's a vintage vetiver aftershave lotion. Oh, it smells beautiful. And, uh, oh, there is a plastic, he did tell me, sorry, Alice, the plastic top to it, which is good. Little um, cap. So, don't need a hole that big, so we're just gonna. There we go, that's enough. Oh, that's it. Mm. Certainly smell the alcohol and then the fragrance. Nice, that's nice. I'm not sure how they behave, you see, after when they're old. So, if you're ever unsure of an aftershave, it's because it's old, if you're not sure of your skin. But don't just put it on your face and then find out you've got an irritation, rash or whatever. Just test a bit somewhere out of the way and wait. If it tingles, itches, you've got a reaction to it. Um, smell that. Ah, it's beautiful. Oh, it's a nice, um, there's a nice background scent to this. What's it like that? What's that? Reminds me of something again. Really nice, fresh, really nice. Surprising, you know, when they're old, but that's why they're good. So thank you, Alistair. Gerlain. Oh, if I'm probably pronouncing it long, long. See, I can't even say it wrong properly. <laughs> Gerlain. Gerlain, whatever. And then, that's really nice. We're going to use. Two phase Nivea and shake. Apparently, this stuff is a cross between aftershave balm and lotion. Um, so maybe we're doubling up with using aftershave, but uh, there we go. Not much of a scent on it, so let's see how this works. That's nice, that. Oh, that's a nice, that is nice. Didn't expect that. It's like, um, this must have some sort of oil. Well, it's balm, yeah. Like a, that's clever, that. Liquidized balm. But you can feel its protection. Wow, that's nice. Very impressive of you. Very well done. Um, Really nice, nice scent. That is still hinting through, but I may um, add a dot more after. Don't tell Alistair. 
Oh, he watches these. I'll cut that out. <laughs> right. Oh, and if you're wondering, um, if you think, oh, you know, you borrow a lot of Alistair. <laughs> I do, he's very kind. But he can have, he has access to my shave then and picks what he wants as well to try anything, which is uh, difficult for him because he's there for, <laughs> for, he comes here sometimes, he's there for hours, well, not hours, yeah, well, literally hours, you have coffee and he'll be uh, looking through the stuff. And, and then we have what you call scent overload. Whereas you can't smell things in the end, you've been doing it so long, so many different scents, um, you just have to step away and you know forget it. But uh, that's lovely. That's a nice leaves a non-greasy skin, if you can tell. Bear in mind the lights are on, so there's a bit of a shine, but it's not not greasy. Right. Recap. This is going on, is it? Sorry. A vintage. Merca open comb four piece travel razor and um, worked very well, really well with a Wilkinson saw brand new blade in it. And um, it was a how can I say it's not aggressive. I mean, you can feel the blade, but it's not an aggressive way. Uh, but the open comb really helps get the shaving soap and whiskers out of the way as you're shaving and uh, did a really good job. Nice travel razor, nice and light, small and it comes in that lovely little old leather pouch, that could tell some stories. So um, fantastic and then we've used this new synthetic inexpensive Omega brush. Um, superb again, we've used First Canadian Shaving Soap, Grand Valley Vetiver, good quality soap, excellent and um, then we've used the Allen block, which I nearly forgot. Then we've used this vintage Vetiver aftershave. Put the thing back in. There we go. Gerlain. Uh, if I say that wrong, I apologise to any people from France or whatever, but uh, Gerlain, this um, Vetiver aftershave. Lovely, really nice. Um, then we've used the Nivea Two Phase, and it's gone back to that straight away. Look at that's quick, isn't it? Um, lovely stuff. I'm quite impressed with that actually, because um, I didn't know what to expect from it. And that is it. That is the lot. Overshaved on the neck. Look at that. See them dots. Won't be there for long. <laughs> no issues though, no, it's a bit of a sting from the alum here. Um, not much from the aftershave though, that's strange. You could smell the alcohol. Anyway, have a fantastic weekend. I hope you have a fantastic shave or shaves and um, stay in good health and good spirits. And thanks for all your support yet again. And uh, I'll see you, good people, on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care.